Okay, well, there's a success story right there. That's my uh, Christmas cookie uh, tin Sterling engine. And it, uh, it worked the first time, right out of the gate. I gave that about a 30% chance of success. I got the flame on pretty low. I'm going to turn it off, in fact, here. But it worked. Um, you can see how wobbly that thing is right there. You need to get that thing better. But that's just put on with this foam mounting tape. This, uh, this stuff right here. It was just a Rube Goldberg still running engine just to see if I could make a Sterling engine out of a leftover uh, coffee tin, or a uh, cookie tin, Christmas cookie tin, and I got it to work. Let me try it again here. I'm afraid I'm going to melt the displacer underneath that. Uh, there's a d foam displacer in here. It's made out of one of these. If I get this too hot, I'm going to melt that, so I'm trying to keep the temperature regulated. I'll probably end up running this on a tea light. Get this refined a little bit better and run it on a tea light. But there it is. A couple of tips. You've got to seal the inside of the can with this uh, high temperature uh, RTV stuff. You get it at the auto parts store. Permatex makes it and other people. It's good to 650 degrees. And uh, that's what uh, the seam right here is sealed with on the inside of the can. This is just a uh, plain old masking tape. It's the uh, stuff that you can leave on for a long time. And then this is a cut off flashlight with the fingertip of a glove as the diaphragm. I put a magnet inside and then a washer on the outside then a dog leg kind of connecting rod. Uh, this is a coat hanger and there's some ball bearings in there. They're not sophisticated. They're just remote control RC model car bearings. The flywheel is just a CD with a nut for the balance, uh, counterbalance. The uh, offset here is just standard, uh, but you've got to have these throws real short. So if you ever build one of these, make these as small as you can so it doesn't throw too far. And then here I'm using the My Ford Boy method where you lift the displacer up using that thread, and then gravity makes it fall down. So that's how that works, is uh, you pull it up and then gravity falls and makes it fall down. Let me try this one more time. You have to displace it. Uh, you have to use the ice on the top to differentiate the, the temperature. Otherwise the whole can heats up and it doesn't run. So you've got to deal with this, uh, this thing there. You hear that oil canning? That's because this isn't a very good structure for doing this kind of a sterling engine, but I did get it to work. Anyway, that's a success story right there. That's my uh, Christmas cookie can uh, sterling engine. Thanks for watching.